Uh, I am going to say that next to the Hermit with the Six of Cups, there is a deep reflection possibly for Cancer around um, what feels like a, it may have been a love situation, it could have been a friendship. Um, it feels like you're, that you Cancer is really going through a deeply emotional time right now. A lot of inner reflection. The card that represents you, though, is the Hermit at this time. Uh, searching for answers, searching for truth. Maybe looking <clears throat> to reminisce some about a situation, about a friend, about a lover. Um, what's crossing you, though, is all of this emotion represents you, the sign of cancer. It is a cup. Could represent another fellow cancer sign. But this is, I want to say, oh my goodness. Um, it looks like Saturn. Cancer and Saturn, but I, I don't know what connection that would have here, except for maybe there's some struggle going on there uh, in your emotional life. Uh, I feel a little bit of an upheaval or maybe a lot of an upheaval. Whatever is going on for Cancer right now, it feels like um, you're thinking about maybe someone from your past a parent, even, here with the Queen of Cups. Oh, I don't know where this disappointment is coming from, though. But it brings certain endings. It's all about the thought process. Struggles, mistrust, needing to separate from someone or something. So what we've got first is at the foundation a very emotional situation for cancer maybe needing time to break and really do some serious reflection in the position of the foundation maybe that's where you're in right now maybe you are in a period of rest or a period of separation from someone or something that you couldn't trust. Maybe it was you that couldn't be trusted, but I definitely have a string of incidences here that just, to me, it feels like your situation went from bad to worse at the blink of an eye. At the foundation, Maybe you're looking to just give up a relationship, a career path, something going on for cancer that you're absolutely needing to resolve so that you move on. At the very foundation, you're needing time away from the situation in the past. We've got the Knight of Pentacles. For some of you, this is about money. It's about your career path. It's about your path in life, your progress, bringing in money, finances. <clears throat> Maybe in the past, there's been some deception around money where a partnership or a relationship was concerned. In the present situation, you have a Queen of Cups. Again, that represents you. We have you and your partner here. Sort of toughing this situation out, whatever it is. Wherever the sense of loss, wherever the sense of disappointment is coming from, it's really caused um, some very hard feelings. Difficult emotions, maybe even embarrassment of some kind on some level. I think that it may have even been a public disgrace 
that we're talking about here for cancer uh, something definitely in the works that caused a lot of a lot of upheaval a lot of upset for cancer and you're still playing it out here uh, in the future position you're still playing it out okay now let's look at the card that represents you and this is the card that i call refusing to see refusing to see the truth refusing to see your part in something refusing to see a partner's part in something there's something there where there's some blindness or some concealing the truth maybe you're hiding the truth maybe you're hiding money from someone who has a legal right to it but you're hiding it for your own best interests this can talk about thievery going on around you in the environment position there's some deception going on around cancer lies <clears throat> cheating theft denial it can be any of these things uh hurtful words disgrace embarrassment again i feel this long string of incidences around cancer and it's all directly connected to a lie for some of you this is the strangest message okay moving on to your hopes and fears some of you are wanting hoping for the end of a situation whether it's a partnership whether it's a job Whatever this insult to injury situation was for you, gee, Spirit is saying, man, it's time to move on from this thing. Whatever it is, it feels like there's a long line of deceptive practices. Maybe you're aware of someone in your surroundings who's been less than honest. Maybe that person has been an incredibly treacherous and deceitful person. Maybe you know who this thief is. I think if you're recognizing this, you know who this deceptive individual is and what part they're playing in the situation moving forward for you. Now the outcome, the tower. You can be absolutely certain that the end is coming. For whoever recognizes this story, you also need to recognize that there is an absolute ending coming in the situation. Now, first, I want to look at this connection to the past, whatever it is, whether it was a partnership, a marriage, I think it had last, it had long since passed away. But there seems to be some revival of the insult, some revival of the injury. Maybe a person from your past is coming back around because maybe they have found you, maybe you have been located, and maybe someone is trying to take money. I think it would be a legal attachment if they are. Um, or this person who you know has stolen from you before in the past is coming around again and your suspicions are up. Your suspicions are really tuned into this person, this personality who you know you cannot trust. That real feeling that uh, I need to end this before it even begins is here. So let's see what this connection to the past might be. The devil. For some of you, this could be a connection to a Capricorn. It can also be codependency. It can be addiction. It can be uh, an obligation. An obligation that you don't want to face. 
again, I'm hearing for someone in the situation, there has been a settlement in your name waiting to be made. You may have run from it or someone else may have run from this legal obligation. But you have been found or they in the situation have been located. And now it's time to pay the piper is what I'm hearing for whoever it is that's been the deceiver in the situation. You are about to be found. Now, <clears throat> the Four of Swords, what are we breaking from? The connection to the past. So we know that someone is hiding from a situation that has been overburdening from the past. To me, it's a financial obligation. Uh, again, especially with the Knight of Pentacles here. He definitely says that all of this pent-up emotion is directly connected to finances. Someone may have from your past who you either owe money or someone who owes you money from the past is on the precipice of being located. And that situation is going to come to an end. I do see a rather unpleasant ending coming through here with this tower energy. Now, <clears throat> I want to look at the Three of Swords. And the Three of Swords, the heartbreak, this piercing disappointment is directly connected to, again, another Earth sign. We had it here with the Capricorn. Now we've got it again with the Queen of Pentacles. This situation with this rupture, I hate to say that this is my cancer running off and hiding from a financial deception, but it's there. It's absolutely there. This Queen of Pentacles energy, she is there to bear witness and kick ass. She talks about progress. Progress coming through on a financial situation where there has directly been deception, either directed to you, Cancer, or directed to them in one way or another. Someone's been on the run. Someone's been hiding out from this obligation, and the obligation may just be coming through. And uh, it's going to lead to absolute certain endings for someone. And I almost hear jail time. For someone who's been running, you may end up having to face some certain time <clears throat> behind prison bars. I don't know who that's for. Let's take a look at the situation. What are we not seeing? The temperance. What you refuse to see. Is all of the wrong that happened here. Because temperance is about the, the right thing to do. It's fighting against the current. It's going after the wrong objective. And so maybe what you've covered your eyes from, maybe the part that you refuse to see, is that you may have driven a wedge in your family. You may have smoke screened yourself from your children. You may have given them a bad taste in their mouth, whether this is you or a partner who has run this deception. They have left their children, and I'm hearing this loud and clear. They've left their children with a horrible taste for them. The balance in this family is completely out of whack. Now we want to look at the Seven of Swords. What is it? What de deception are we being made aware of in our environment? Cancer, what's the deception? 
The deception is around money. Like the Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles says that this environment of deception is all about money. I have been saying it from the beginning of this reading. It's all about the almighty dollar. For whoever it is that has brought this deception, it's coming through loud and clear. And it's all about the almighty dollar in the Ten of Swords. What is the straw that breaks the camel's back? This is either a hope or a fear. For someone, someone is hoping to do the last bit of damage before they can walk away free from this relationship. On the other hand, someone has a hope that this thing ends and ends quickly. Because there is a righteous There is a righteous moment for someone in the situation who actually gets to witness someone's descent into hell because they have pulled off a con on someone and they've been getting away with it for a while, but it's coming back around. The Queen of Cups. The straw that breaks the camel's back. We've got the Queen of Cups. Now, this is either going to be in the realm of a hope or a fear. I think this is representing you. Whichever side of this you stand on, you also stand firm to whatever it is that you're hoping or whatever it is that you're fearing out of the situation. Uh, this is you expecting the best outcome. And you should expect the best outcome for you, no matter what side of the situation you sit on. Now, what is the ending with the tower? What do we need to know about the ending with the tower? Well, it's again about... It's about finances, but it's about a shaky foundation. It can be about overcoming rough times, getting over the imbalance of being without or being in tumultuous times financially, gaining your balance after the breakdown, after the breakdown of the walls, the breakdown of the, the tower, the breakdown of the foundation. Because there is a breakdown in the foundation somewhere. 